<coughs> hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I'm Enrique, and hopefully having a really good day. Uh, today I'm going to go into this particular design, and I'm going to talk about how you can, we can uh, make this design more interesting by kind of having a dialogue with you. Uh, I guess you can't really reply to me immediately, of course, but I'm going to kind of talk about my thought process of how to make this guy more interesting, because right now he's really boring, and that's you know just the game you play you know it's boring it's a boring design it was pretty much if you look at it right now it pretty much just looks like a template you know that's pretty much all it looks like so what would what would that be so whoops i dropped my pen <clears throat> uh, this is my book i have a bunch of different creature designs in this book i'm probably going to show that entire thing when i'm done with it i'm only on like i forget what page i'm not even like a quarter of the way through it so to kind of get into this, my thought process behind this was generally kind of a, um, a goat, but with a tiger's body, I don't know, like this kind of goat torso with a tiger's, you know, kind of front arm, and with a, I'm thinking of more of a toucan or anteater's face, toucan or anteater's face, one moment. Let me auto. So, <clears throat> kind of back to this. So I was kind of thinking like what, you know, what do I add to this? Because this looks really, really boring to me. It looks extremely boring. Um, I, again, I was in the face of thinking of like a violent toucan more ant eatery. Do I want this guy to eat meat? Probably yes. He's got kind of a, I do believe some of his body here is very meat eater-esque. He's got claws. For a reason, he's going to scratch and do something with it. So, but he's not going to be used by man, you know? He's not, he's not like a horse where you put a saddle on him or anything like that. He is more, you know, just, sorry, I keep saying the word, you know. <clears throat> he's, in the wild. He or she's in the wild. These pins shouldn't be on there. They look too robotic. That's pretty much what I was thinking. That was my first attempt trying to make it more interesting. So let's get into it. What? Hmm. I'm going to make this a little bit more of a sail right here. I can't erase this because these are in pen. I'm going to make this a little bit more of a sail. Very similar, similar to Dimetrodon um, and certain lizards where they kind of have this thing on their back, like this fin on their back to to kind of regulate the heat in their body. <coughs> and I'm going to, there's only so much room in this to kind of make it more interesting, but I'm going to bring it down here and give them some sort of tail. It just looks really strange without a tail. Taking a quicker look around. Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe the anteater look. He's got this long snout and a long tongue for a reason. He probably digs in holes, but is strong enough to kind of de uh, defend himself against uh, kind of predators. I was thinking maybe this guy would be about, I don't know, hyena size. Maybe not that big. Maybe like wild dog size. <coughs> doesn't really have any natural prey except for maybe bugs and he uses maybe these claws to kind of dig out those bugs as well underneath the ground so I connect this up here uh, he would have this see this horn right here would get in the way but I already put it there I would, in retrospect, I wouldn't put that. I'd put it a little bit longer so he can reach deeper into the hole he's digging. Powerful jaw, maybe it can open up. Gonna eat bugs there. <coughs> it needs his ear canal. Hmm. I want this to go sweep into the back of his head.
pulling back here to his heel pulling downward his hind legs there uh, he's putting his foot forward here as he's walking let's see he's walking on this one let's see so he's putting his weight on this one and the back side's gonna be walking he's gonna be walking forward with it the wrist here Put the other paw behind that one. I'm thinking like lion, maybe like dog paws. Throwing in a thicker line toward the front of the, the chest here to show that that's in front, that's coming forward. <coughs> I want something here in his torso. I don't know what that is though. He's probably has a muscular back. Uh, you dig like that, you have a muscular back, right? <coughs> Striations over here. Legs. Taking a look at this whole overall design, thinking. I'm going to throw in some striations over here on this fit in the back. Just so it's more obvious what it is. Whew. Toward the front, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, other leg, this is the back leg. Other leg would, see they don't walk like that. He wouldn't walk, <coughs> their stride is different. So as, as, this, as this leg moves forward, oops, I can't really draw on it. As this leg moves forward, the, as the, the leg in the back, okay, the one in the back on the, on the front here. On the front legs, the one furthest away from us, He's walking forward with that leg. That means this leg should be moving forward, the one next to us. But it's not, because I didn't draw it that way. If I was to go back, I would change that. But Instead, I'm going to make the other leg go back off the page here. As if it's walking forward, it still looks a little strange. I would put this for foot a little more forward, but I could possibly cheat that. It just walks in a funky way. Showing its ribs over here. Mm. 
So I would say for the rest of this, I would, in terms of design, I can't really think of what else to do to this thing in terms of design that would make any rational sense here. Uh, I was thinking of maybe putting a pattern on him. Gonna look at Tasmanian Devil. <clears throat> and I guess that's about. All I could do to improve this design, to be honest, that's uh. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so. Let's put that pattern here. And since this is a pen sketch, I'm going to fill it in gradually. Thinking about the value, but not trying to cover up the line art of the musculature too much. In terms of, uh, let's go back to just uh, regular things like value, etc. Lower portion of his um, rib cage is going to be in shadow. lower portion of his knee will be in slight shadow and everything I'm doing is throwing tiny lines here And let me throw a little bit of a line throughout the rest of it. Never make, uh, I was going to say, uh, talking about the pose, never make a pose completely symmetrical. Don't make it like, you know, all four on the ground. You know what I mean? Like it's a character model on a 3D, on a 3D thing. You know, you don't want to make them all four. You want to make it like as it's walking or as it's, you know, slightly moving, it's relaxing. Uh, that's to make something look, like I said, more natural. Uh, and and because if you make it look more natural, it'll, it'll make it more believable. So just always remember that. I didn't really go over why I did this kind of pose. Always make it moving in some way. Always make it, never make it completely stiff.
going over here throwing a thicker line around the contour on the entire contour some sh value down here I want to throw a darker value on this kind of horn beak thing, but I'm not going to do that because it'll make it too top heavy. And by top heavy, I mean that it will uh, just compositionally having too dark. Shading that entire thing in will just be too, uh, too much, I think. Whew. Anyways, uh, I think from here on it wouldn't be much uh, more work, to be honest, to just kind of mild, mildly finesse certain things about it. But yeah, like I said, it wouldn't take much more work to finesse it. A lot of it was finding out what that design is and making it a little bit different to talk about that particular design. And a lot of a lot of design really is just taste and the you know kind of taste of what your audience, uh, who your audience is, is right. You know, if it's more of like a teenage audience, what is this for? Is it a game? Is it for uh, zoological drawings? Is it concept art? Right for a game or movie? Um, if it's for a video game, they tend to do crazier concepts. Um, then movies, movies tend to play it to a more mainstream uh, audience, not too wild of a design. Although lately, in the last couple of years, uh, the designs have been looking very video game-like, I think, since Transformers and things like that. Um, the designs have been getting kind of out there. Um, although things are starting to look pretty much very similar now, I've noticed. If you look at stuff like uh, like the Power Rangers movie, that like the new one, the designs in there are kind of eh, they're not really my thing, but... You know, some stuff is really cool, like Rita's cool and stuff like that. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll post this on my Instagram. Uh, if you're not following my Instagram, follow it. It is sketch underscore monster, uh, and then the number one, if you're not already following that. Um, pretty much it. Next video I'm going to do about is going to be about finding form with an object. So uh, please check out the other videos on this page. I'm going to link them below. Uh, if you have any requests, let me know as well, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.